Imagine living in world's coldest city, where the air is cold enough to numb exposed skin within seconds. A city from the Ice Age where the woolly mammoths previously existed and their fossils are still present. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to discuss that how can a person live in a city where the lowest temperature recorded was minus 83.9 degrees Fahrenheit and how the 300,000 people living there survives. So keep watching our channel, The Curious Corner. The city we are going to talk about is Yakutsk. Yakutsk is a port city located at the heart of Siberia in Russia, where the average temperature in winter is minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and the only way for people to survive is to stay indoors during winter. The air becomes incredibly dry and any exposed skin is vulnerable to frostbite within minutes. This city was founded in 1632 and was originally called the Lensky Fortress. The Yakutsk, also known as Saka people, migrated to this area in the early 13th century. They were used to live in small houses made up of four to five layers of wool. In modern days, the average person wears clothing worth $600 to $1,000 to survive 10 minutes outdoor. This includes too many layers of clothing, like fur coats, reindeer fur boots and fur hats. The modern houses have thick walls and are well insulated with central heating systems to withstand the permafrost. The daily affairs are quite complicated, but the people are used to it. Just like taking a bath in freezing cold winter needs some preparation. A wooden bathhouse is heated for 5 hours with wood to be able to take a bath. In Yakutsk, winter isn't just a season but a way of life. Luckily, Yakutsk has a good transport system that functions even in extreme cold weather making it possible for the general public to work in this weather. People who own cars have to park their cars without turning the engine off in heated garages. However, keeping a garage warm in such cold weather can be difficult and costly. So many locals who can't afford high fuel consumption take the battery out of their car and leave it outside to freeze and there's no possible way for them to unfreeze it before the spring. The people of Yakutsk live a simple life. The local cuisine reflects the ingredients available in the region. In most of the cuisines, horse meat and fish are often eaten raw in a lightly frozen state. Specifically, the horse meat is considered the main source of animal protein. The horses of Yakutsk are small in size and have a thick and heavy fur, the reason they manage to survive heavy winters. Horse farming is considered as one of the most beneficial business in Yakutsk because horses are not only used for their meat but are typically used for the herding milking, transporting, producing ropes, and at the end for their fur. The reason horses and reindeers are quite common in Yakuzian cuisine. Although the drinking water is still a big problem, because only in Yakutsk, indoor plumbing exists and safety measures are taken to prevent pipes from freezing as it is the capital of Saha Republic in Russia. But in most villages of Saha Republic, no water treatment facilities are available, making ice the cleanest available drinking source. It is harvested in November and stored outside during the winter on a raised surface to keep it out of reach of other animals. The ice water is used for drinking and cooking 
and the people living there are dependent on nature. Any pollution in the water goes directly into the drinking supply, since the villages cannot afford water filtration system. Yakujia is rich in diamonds, gold and natural resources, but the local villagers get very little in return. As Yakutsk is a developed city, the wages of people are higher. The most important industry is mining. Diamond, gold and tin ore mining industries are the major ones. Jewelry along with diamonds is a traditional branch of economy. And also, this region has been known for the preservation of ancient animal carcasses, including woolly mammoths, which lived thousands of years ago and are often found preserved in the permafrost. It's the only place in the world where the tusks of woolly mammoths are carved into intricate artworks and are sold both locally and internationally. Good wages and opportunities not available anywhere else in Russia attracts foreigners to live and work in Yakutsk. But still, living in a city like this could be depressing, especially for people who are not native. The extreme cold weather and potentially less outdoor activities can have a big impact on people's mood which contributes to feelings of isolation and seasonal affective disorder. While the city sites of Yakutsk have mental health care facilities, but still remote communities face challenges in accessing mental health services because of the limited facilities of healthcare professionals. But the real question is, why are the remote communities still living there despite the hardships? The Saha Republic, also known as Yakuzhia, is the land of their ancestors. The people living there never forget their traditions and the traditional practices of harvesting ice, chopping wood, fishing and hunting are still being taught to the newer generations. They love to live a life like this, connected from the nature and far from the main city problems. So that's all in today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe our channel The Curious Corner for more fascinating content.